Hi everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today Jeannie Young is going to show you all how to make a very quick and simple, yet so tasty. This can be for breakfast, this can be for lunch, this can be for dinner. Today we're going to make chicken egg foo young. And boy am I excited. I love me some egg foo young. If y'all never had this before, I'm going to show you all how to make it. This recipe right here is absolutely amazing. I want to show you how to do it today. Here's what you'll need. The ingredients you will need. You will need chicken. Okay. And I'm today I'm going to use the Purdue. This is original roasted. It doesn't have any extra seasoning to it. This is the kind that I like to use. They have other kind that has seasoning, but I like this most of all, okay? You will need chicken. Now, here's the thing. If you wanted to boil up some chicken or bake some chicken and use that, you can. If you wanted to use Spam, you can. If you wanted to use lunch meat, if you want to use pork chop, if you want to use any meat, if you want to use shrimp, you can do that with this recipe, okay? Now, I have another recipe for egg foo young, and it's pork egg foo young. And when I made that recipe, and you can look at the other recipe as well. When I made that recipe, I used leftover pork chop, and that egg foo young was so good. You hear me? Hooray! All right, so here's what you're going to need. You will need some onion, and you can see I just used a quarter of an onion. I, you don't need a whole lot. We're gonna use some green scallions for garnish. I'm gonna have some avocado just on the side of my plate. You, you will need frozen vegetables. I don't suggest that you use mixed vegetables out of the can. Don't use those. Make sure they're fresh and that they've been thawed out. These have just been sitting on the counter for around about two hours and they're nice and thawed. Okay, you're gonna need rice. That's what I have in the bowl there. Just regular white rice that I've cooked. You will need parsley, sea salt, and cracked black pepper. You're gonna need cornstarch. This here is soy sauce. It's just made by Maggie. You will need chicken broth. You can use beef broth. You can use vegetable broth. Any kind of broth that you wanna use, you definitely can. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this vegetable oil and we're going to put some vegetable oil into our pan. You're going to need a nice amount. And some people might say, wow, Gina, but that's a lot of oil. But here's the thing. As long as you make sure, trust me when I tell you this, as long as you make sure this oil is nice and hot, your egg foo young will not be oily. Okay, but if you turn around, and you don't heat this oil up all the way, it will be oily, okay? And really, it's that simple. This pan here will be used to make our beautiful broth that we're going to make, okay? When you have egg foo young, typically, you would eat it with white rice and a gravy on top. So let, let's get to the gravy. Let's come this way really quick, and we're just going to um, start on our gravy. We're not gonna thicken it yet, but we are gonna um, turn it on to a low heat to get it nice and warm. This is chicken broth going in. Uh, all depends on how much gravy you wanna make. You don't have to make too much. I wanna use about that much, okay? And then I like to season it up with cracked black pepper, all right? Just like so. We're gonna use some of the soy sauce if I can open it. <laughs> soy sauce, and literally, that will be our gravy, okay? We're gonna bring this up to a nice boil. We're, you don't have to turn it on now. You can turn that on when your egg foo young is just about done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take maybe a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. We're gonna put it in here, mix it up with cold water, make a cornstarch slurry, and that's gonna be our gravy for this. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is we want to take a little bit of oil, and when I say a little bit, guys, don't get crazy with the oil. Just a little is all you need. 
maybe that much. Okay, that little bit of oil will go a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. We're gonna put the onions in, okay? And then we're gonna chop up some of this beautiful chicken. Um, when I make egg foo young, I absolutely love to use the spam in it. Spam, I usually make the spam kind, the kind with chicken like I'm gonna do today, and the shrimp. And like I said, I did the pork one and it was outrageous, amazing. Okay, so we're just putting this in here with a little bit of oil, and then we're gonna go in and grab some of our beautiful chicken. Okay, and you put as much meat as you like in yours, okay? One more piece for me. Okay then, so let's go ahead and we want to chop up your beautiful chicken. Just like so. You want to use turkey? Hey, use turkey. All right? I got paper towel stuck to my hand <laughs> because I just washed my hands. All right? I want a lot of chicken in mine. My goodness. This right here is going to be breakfast today at the Young's house. I'm going to show you all how you can make it, how it's going to taste authentic, Every person that eats this, they kind of lose their mind over this recipe. It's so good. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Bring our pan back into the equation. And we're going to heat up the onions and the meat only. These vegetables, you don't have to do anything with them. But you do wanna cook the onions because you don't want raw onions in your egg foo young and this egg foo young it cooks so fast by the time your egg foo young is done if you were to put the um onions in raw they would never get done and they would have a raw taste so this is why we take the time to cook or to heat up your meat and your onions together only thing you need to do with the onions is make sure that they're nice and translucent. And what translucent is, translucent is where your onions start to get nice and clear, all right? And the, the chicken is already cooked, so we're just heating it up, just like so, okay? Beautiful. If you wanted to put some spice on this chicken, absolutely you, you can. You can put, what, like paprika, garlic powder, okay? But I feel like this is so, this meal is so flavorful, you don't have to do much to it. Okay? So while we heat that up, I will go ahead and turn on this pot here with the broth, the soy sauce, and the black pepper. But I'm going to turn it on to low. Okay? The reason why I'm going to turn it on to low is because this part is not ready yet. So what I like to do, and you can see that I've pre-cooked my rice. Get your rice done and out the way. Okay, I love to do that. I've washed off my scallions. Some people call them green onions. Call them what you like. I want to use some of the greens. And this will be for garnish. And this also will go inside of the egg foo young. It's Saturday. It's at least about 76 degrees out there. It's beautiful. The birds are chirping. I've got my windows open and I'm a happy lady. Absolutely. I love the nice weather. We've got some plans to do a couple things today. And I'm so excited. I got up really early this morning and went to the grocery store for my ingredients. And I got dressed early. This right here, just for garnish. All right. This here is going to go in a Ziploc bag and use for another day. Okay, everybody. So our chicken and our onions are done. Just put them in the bowl. Okay. Just put them right on in there. Now what I want you all to remember 
is that those onions and that chicken is hot. And you would never want to mix in your eggs while these other ingredients are hot because you'll wind up with scrambled eggs, okay? And we don't want that. We don't want to ruin our dish, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that cool down. Onions and chicken, or onions and whatever meat you're gonna use. Now we're gonna take our green onions and our frozen vegetables that have been thawed, and we're going to mix them in with the chicken and onions that's cooling down. Remember, these vegetables have not been cooked, they've just been thawed, okay? This right here is your base. If you wanted to use uh, bean sprouts, absolutely you can. I can never find bean sprouts at my local store, so I'm not gonna use them today. And I don't like, don't you listen guys, don't use the bean sprouts that come in the can, they're horrible. <laughs> You have to have fresh bean sprouts if you ever use them. Okay, here's this. We're going to set everything aside until that chicken and those onions cool all the way down. Like I said, you want to cool it down because we cannot put our egg mixture into that while it's hot. I'm going to grab my eggs out. And we're going to use four eggs today four large eggs right it's not going to take our chicken and our vegetables or our chicken and our onions long to cool down because i put those cold vegetables in <laughs> okay so that's why I like to do that, to kind of speed up the process of the cooling down. All right? So once that cools down, I'll be back and I'll show you what else we're going to do next. Okay, everybody, my mixture is nice and cooled down. Let's go ahead and get our eggs cracked into a separate bowl. I like to do a separate bowl because if you crack your egg into here and you happen to get eggshells or your egg isn't any good, then you would have to throw away your whole mixture. So I like to do it in a separate bowl, okay? That way you don't have to worry about that. All right? And then we're going to take and mix this up vigorously because we want to whip some air into these beautiful eggs. The eggs are beautiful this morning. See that? Beautiful. Four eggs going right on in, baby. Mm-hmm. If y'all never made this before, you better make you some. <laughs> Absolutely you should, okay? So we're just gonna do a little mixy mix. Mixy mix, Gina, really? Yeah, mixy mix. <laughs> I know I get crazy in this kitchen, but I'm having so much fun and I'm having the time of my life sharing my recipes with you all. Absolutely I am. And I thank God for giving me this gift to share with you all. And I appreciate YouTube for giving me the platform to share my family's recipes with you all. I know I say it, you know, I've said it time and time again, but I mean that. And I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all who watch, everyone who has subscribed. Thank you all. And I hope that you all enjoy the recipes in hopes that you'll make it for your family and let me know what you think about the recipe. I love when y'all come back and say, Gina, oh my gosh, girl, I made the recipe and the bomb. I love, <laughs> I love to hear that because this is what I do it for. This is what I do my tutorials for. Okay, now that this is well beaten, here's what you're gonna do. Remember, we have our broth here, and I'm gonna turn it up a little higher. There we go. Chicken broth, black pepper, soy sauce. Here's our pan. Let's turn your pan onto a medium high heat. We want for this oil to get nice and hot, okay? Get that oil nice and hot so that we can make egg foo young. It's not hard to make. Very quick and simple. Meanwhile, let's go ahead. Let me grab a spoon or a fork here. And I want to grab 
some cornstarch, put it in here, just like so, with, with a little bit of cold water, and that's going to be our thickener for our beautiful gravy. The gravy has a lot of flavor, and the reason why is because chicken broth is, is very flavorful. You put that black pepper and soy sauce, and you have a beautiful gravy. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of water in there while our oil heats up. I hope that you all are having a beautiful Saturday. I hope that you all had a great work week. See that there? That's what you call a cornstarch slurry. This is what's going to go into our sauce and thicken that sauce up right before your eyes. And make sure that the cornstarch is well incorporated. All right, you'll be able to fill it with your spoon if it's not. Okay, so then let's take a peek. Let's take a peek in at our sauce here. Nice and hot and it's boiling. Go ahead and put your cornstarch in. And if you feel like your sauce is too thick, then put you some more chicken broth in there and voila. Okay, really it's that simple. This is a nice, simple, yet so tasty broth. Or not broth, but gravy. You'll see it thicken up here in just a second. And what I love to do, I love getting everything done and out the way. Like for instance, you see how the gravy's already done. See how it's thickening up. Our gravy's done and out the way. Our rice is done and out the way. Our garnish is done and out the way. And that's how I like to work it. Look at this. Okay, see just how thick? Beautiful, you see that? My goodness, Ooh my mouth is watery. Okay, and it's done. Once it thickens, you can take it right off of that burner, turn the burner off, okay? And we'll just set that aside, all right? Now, let's make our way back. Follow me, camera. Make our way back to our oil. If our oil's nice and hot, which it's not ready yet, then we'll proceed with our egg foo yunk. We need a few more minutes on the oil. Okay, everybody, let's go. Now, here's what I like to do. Give it one more mix through, just like so, okay? Check me out, check me out. Then I like to grab some type, You and here's the thing, you can use a spoon if you want it to, okay? I'm just gonna use this, and I wanna lay it Let's make sure my oil is nice and hot. You see how that bubbled up? That's telling me, Gina, your oil's hot enough, okay? Now, as soon as you get it in there, pull it back. Pull it back into a circle, okay? Listen to me, guys. <laughs> pull it back into a circle, just like so, all right? And here's the thing, let's do one more, why not? Put this goodness right in here. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking, you hear me? Hoo-wee. You all are gonna love this recipe. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know, have you all had Egg Foo Young before? And if you have, what was your experience? What do you think about Egg Foo Young? Do you love it? Let me know in the comment section because I'm curious, because I absolutely love this. Anytime I get a chance to eat it, I devour it. You hear me? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let one side, and see this gets golden brown. This is different than an omelet, that you want this to be nice and golden brown on both sides. And you wanna give it some time to get brown. Don't go in messing with it, because if you mess with it, it'll be hard to flip, it'll fall apart on you. So let's let it get nice and golden brown. Once it gets brown, I'll come back, we'll flip it, and I'll show you what, what to do next. Okay, everybody, so it's been about two minutes. Let me show you all what it's looking like. This right here, this is what it should look like, just like this. Okay, everybody, it's almost time to give these a flip, but I'm not seeing that golden brown color. When you can see that golden brown towards the bottom, then you can flip it. Let's go ahead and flip this one. Flip the first one. Just like so. <laughs> My goodness, this is some good eating. Now when I plate this up, 
I'm just going to plate one up because the other one is for my family. <laughs> my family is going to taste test. Okay? Oh, yeah. And here's the thing. If a little bit of it falls apart, just push it back together. No problem. We're still going to eat it. It's all going to go in the same place, and it's going to be good. <laughs> Wee! My goodness. Look at this. Let me bring it close up to you. Beautiful. This is what it should look like. Y'all never had this before. You are definitely missing out. I highly suggest that you make it. Mm, mm, mm. The rice is done. Our beautiful sauce is done. A little bit of green onion to garnish. And voila! Let's put some cracked black pepper on. Oh, yeah. There you go, baby. Get in my belly. You hear me? Mmm. Okay, we're gonna let those cook. When they're done, I'll come back. Okay, guys, so a lot of you have asked me, you said, Gina, what kind of channels do you watch on YouTube? Got one for you. I got one for you. I like to watch a channel. Her name is Miss Hobbs, okay? And she cooks and she does live sessions and she's awesome, right? So I want you all to check her channel out subscribe and click on that notification bell and you spell miss hobbs m-y-s-s-h-o-b-b-s -S. check out her channel guys she's awesome okay okay everybody if you all enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely, why not? Let me show you this. I wanna show you, and I have a little bit of avocado with a little bit of sea salt sprinkled on top. Look at this. You can have this for breakfast. You can have this for lunch. You can have this for dinner. Heck, you could have this for a snack. Look at this. Try this recipe. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, now, here's what we need to do. Let's go ahead. We want to put some of our beautiful gravy right onto this bad boy. All right, check me out, guys. Can y'all see that good? Hold on, guys. My spoon got hot. Hold on, I need another spoon. I can't hold this when it's so hot. Now we're in business. My spoon was near the stove and it got kind of hot and I couldn't handle it. Watch this. <laughs> you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. You better make you some. God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Lord, we thank you for this meal. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. I thank you, Lord, for feeding us a meal. I thank you, Jesus, for blessing us and blessing over my YouTube channel. I pray over my YouTube subscribers and watchers. I pray that you bless over them and keep them safe in Jesus' name. And I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. Let's give this a try. I'm going to let you all know what it tastes like. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. First thing I got to do, I want to taste the rice with that beautiful gravy. And the gravy's not heavy. It's nice and light. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mm-mm, mmm. We're moving in the right direction. You hear me? Whoo, we're moving in the right direction. Come on, Gina. Let's give them something to talk about. Look at this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, my word. Listen here, I don't care what you say. This right here, amazing. Look at that huge piece of chicken. This is a winner, chicken dinner for sure. Perfect every time, using this recipe. Mm. <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> oh, 
Mm, and it's so good. Mm. This right here, this tops any omelet any day. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a good omelet, but this bad boy right here, ha! Mmm. He ain't got nothing on it. Mmm. 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 Give me your goodness. Mmm. 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 I love you all. Have a good weekend. You all know I'm not doing videos on Sunday. So until Monday, I love you all. Good night. Look at that. Mmm.